The Advanced Software Development course is a course that emphasizes two areas. It emphasizes both the area of some theory, some theoretical structure for how programs are created, and secondly, it emphasizes the practice of how to actually apply that and get some results that produce more efficient software, better engineered software. The focus of the course is neither all applied, it's not just all programming and writing programs, or all theoretical analysis of algorithms, analysis of performance, analysis of correctness. So it really merges these two things, and that's the strength of it. At the same time, what we find is that the content of this, which is software patterns and software architecture frameworks, are some of the most fundamental, important, and long-lasting areas of computer science for the last two decades. Uh, the book that we use, Object-Oriented Software Design Patterns, is one of the a long time and ongoing bestsellers in computer science for the last 15 years, which is quite an accomplishment. To that, we add features of modern programming languages, things that are influencing the evolution and development of Java, of C Sharp, of C++, and even dynamic scripting languages like Ruby, Python, and other languages like that, Groovy. So what we do is we look at these patterns, and not just in their traditional setting, their implementation in one language, but how they apply to all programming languages. And that's a very important and valuable thing because it gives the idea of, of how these impact all languages, not just one particular area of study, and it gives you the ability to then apply that in any context that you might have working in a professional setting. Students always enjoy both the intellectual knowledge study of it, and we have a significant applied project where they get to apply it, work in teams, see how team development goes, and then present that result in design reviews to myself and the best one to the whole class. A course like this is common at many universities, many programs, but oftentimes it's at a simpler level where what one really studies is just a cookbook, a study, or a list of the different design patterns and techniques. Here, to make it into a more advanced graduate level course, what we've done is we study the relationships of the patterns, why they're there, how they fit together, how to apply them, and that gives you the ability to modify them for different environments, different results, different contexts, and really to judge the trade-offs and the balances of when to use one and when to use another. That in itself is an important new quality that's added to what other courses typically have. So it's a great course, students always enjoy it, and many of our students and graduates email me back and say they find this is one of the most valuable courses they have for their professional software development careers. <laughs>